Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be installing the Subi Speed OLM carbon fiber fender covers, caps, whatever you want to call them. Um, I I did an unboxing video when I got all the all the other things. Uh, this was the last thing I opened, um, and unfortunately I had a little bit of an issue with one of the sides uh, of these of these fender cap covers. Um, you know, as of right now. Uh, I've reached out to Subi Speed. They offered me a resolution. I wasn't necessarily happy with it. Um, they offered me another re resolution and I'm kind of deciding on what to do now. Um, so I will update you guys, but for now I'm going to install these just so I can show you guys um, how to install them and just kind of what they look like after. Uh, Cause I might just end up keeping these or well, who knows, we'll see what happens. But for right now, uh, the actual resolution of everything is still up in the air. Um, I don't know when this video is going to post, but uh, it might, I'm already, already have a resolution to it and it may already be resolved. Uh, and, but either way, I'll update you guys and let you know. But for now, I just wanted to get the video out for you guys cause I have them and I kind of can't wait to get them on the car. Um, so I figured I would just make the video. As you can see, there's only one here. Uh, I've already installed one of them on the driver's side just so I can do it off camera, just so I can get them uh, properly installed and see if I even really liked them. If it was something that I want to continue with the install just because, um, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty bummed when I did un unbox these. Uh, there were some uh, flaws in the carbon fiber. This is the good side, um, but there was some flaws in the carbon fiber that I wasn't really happy with. Uh, you know, just the weave was messed up. There was some, there was a little little crack in one of the area. Oh, not a crack, but a, uh, an area where there wasn't carbon fiber. Um, some clouding in the quarter, corners and everything. Uh, I did have some issues in the past with Subi Speed's carbon fiber pieces, uh, but they resolved it and um, you know, I was very happy. So I'm not, I'm not here to bash anybody. I'm not here to um, say, you know, kind of come on here and complain or anything like that. That's not the case at all. Uh, I'm very happy with Subi Speed and and for everything that I've ever gotten from them. Um, you know, obviously their customer service is great. They respond very quickly. So I'm not here to do that. I'm here just to talk about this product um, and let you guys know what I think. So overall, it's a really, really nice piece. Um, very expensive piece, I should say. These run about 300 bucks, which is crazy just for an engine bay uh, dress up, basically. There's no, there's no performance, there's no gain, there's no, um, there's no aspect to these other than just aesthetics, just having some cool carbon fiber pieces in your engine bay. <laughs> um, and there's, you know, it's a pretty expensive thing to do. I get it, I really had a hard time taking the, uh, you know, clicking the, the order button just because I wasn't sure if it was something that um, was worth it. And um, now that I have them and now that I have installed one on the car, uh, I, I must say it really it really adds a whole other depth to the, to the engine bay and just a cool little uh, feature to it because I don't have any carbon fiber in my engine bay currently, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but right now, uh, just adding this little, little flare to it, I think is a really nice touch. Um, and, it, and it makes me happy because <laughs> um, I'll, also I'll show you what the stock ones look like. I'm sure most of you know, uh, but they're very, very ugly, uh, like fabricy, plasticky, cheap feeling uh, covers. And while they do the job of, of, you know, covering what covering the frame and making it look, I guess, a little bit nicer. Um, there's obviously nicer options, as you can see, to uh, resolve that. So I decided to go with these um, and, and I'm really happy. I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, it's, you know, it, it, there's a little assembly to these, which you can see I've already done. Um, I'll throw some clips in, uh, just so you can see what I did to get these. And well, I should say what I mean by assembly is actually you have to install these, um, these grates up here or these grills or whatever you want to call them. Um, basically it's just, they're metal, which is nice. I thought they were plastic and all you do is put some 3M tape uh, around and, and stick them on. Uh, they, I, they do have a version two of these, which, um, are a little bit different. Um, and they're also a hundred dollars more. So take that into consideration. But, uh, from what I gathered, there's actually on the trim here, which goes against the, the fender. Um, there's actually a, like a foam seal or a foam, a little piece here to actually protect it against the actual fender, um, which I'm not really concerned about because I don't, these things don't really move. Uh, like I said, I have one installed, so, uh, I, you know, I'm not worried about that. Um, but the also other one, the, the $300 one has another, I, I think it's another long, uh, grill or grate here. So there's actually less carbon fiber. Um, so you're paying more, but you're getting less carbon fiber. You're getting more vents though. Um, and also these, these vents come pre-installed already on them. 
So it's up to you what kind of style you want to go with. I believe there's another option by Subi Bros. Um, there's there's no grills, no grates, or anything like that. Um, and you can buy, it's literally just all carbon fiber, which I almost bought too, because um, I think it was kind of cool. Just, I don't know. I'd rather have more carbon fiber than vents. Uh, but what made me decide on these is um, I thought the vents ended up being a cool feature, mainly because they claim these to actually help cool the engine. You know, take it for a grain of salt. It probably doesn't. Um, but basically, uh, these little vents here allow the air to escape into the fender. Uh, where that air goes afterwards, who knows? Um, there's no really escape from the fender. The great the, the vents on the side of the car, um, those are not functional. So, you know, if they were, then that would make sense. Uh, but who knows? Either way, that's me kind of just justifying paying for these <laughs> and buying them. Um, that it does help, I guess, a little bit performance-wise. Um, but you know, I'm not, I'm not here to claim that it actually does. It's just kind of what, what they say they do. But either way, this is purely for aesthetics. It's purely just to open your engine bay and smile and say like, Hey, I got some cool carbon fiber under here. Um, I don't intend on adding, uh, any more if, you know, maybe a few little things uh, of carbon fiber in my engine bay, this is going to be it. Uh, mainly because there's been, uh, claims that people, you know, there's a lot of engine, uh, carbon fiber engine bay pieces that you can get. Uh, from certain brands and everything you can basically get your entire engine bay covered in carbon fiber uh, which i don't recommend uh, mainly because of heat it doesn't allow heat to, to escape properly and it's just uh, whatever that's all other story certain companies and certain carbon fiber used and the coatings and or the gel or whatever they use the clear coat um, has been known to yellow over time because of the heat in the engine bay um, and and that's kind of a big reason as to why i don't want to add too much because i don't want to have to spend you know literally thousands of dollars uh, to make my engine bay look cool and then you know after you know x amount of years it just looks like crap and it's all yellowed and i have to take it all off and go to a shop and get it all sanded down and re-cleared and everything like that. it's just it's not worth it to me um so again this is probably my only carbon fiber part that i'm going to add to my interior or the engine bay i should say um you know maybe i'll add something here or there but it will be very small something that i won't really care about if it you know does yellow or something like that um, I do have a coating. I didn't put a, a ceramic coating on these yet. Um, I did mention in my unboxing video that I was going to ceramic coat these when I do detail the car, which will be very soon. There'll be a whole video series on that. But for right now, all I did was use some, I'll show you real quick. Um, this is my go-to seal and wax combo. A lot of people ask what I put the car, what I put on my car. Um, it's these two things after I, you know, do a paint correction and polish it up. Jess car for a sealant and Colonel 845. And, uh, and then I top it with some bead maker just as a, you know, an extra coating. Helps to just keep maintaining that uh, protection for a longer extended period of time. Um, so that's like my, my go-to, what I use in my paint. Um, and then this is exactly what I used on the carbon fiber here. Um, just to get something on the car or on this piece, cause I don't want to, you know, put it in there and not have any protection on it at all. Uh, so that's, that's what's on here right now. And it looks really good, nice and shiny. Um, it looks a lot better in person. In person, it looks a lot more, um, a lot more blingy. <laughs> it looks a lot more impressive in person. On camera, it doesn't really, I don't know, doesn't look, I mean, it looks cool, I shouldn't say that. Uh, but in person, it's just, it's a whole other, uh, it's a whole other aspect, a whole other view that you don't really get on camera. But it's a really nice piece. Um, so I guess that's enough talking enough explaining what this is and basically what it doesn't do <laughs> um, other than just look cool uh, so let's get to actually installing it and it, it's extremely extremely simple from one to ten on the install factor if that's what you want to call it this is a one it's so simple it's literally two push clips one right here and one right here and it literally lines up exactly where the OEM ones are um, you know you can get some nice bolts to put in here some titanium bolts or black or whatever you want to do red blue um, you know you can do whatever you want but I'm just using the black plastic clips for now um, and the nice part about that is they blend in with this so you really don't see them which is nice I'm not a big fan of adding too much color and just kind of going a little too crazy I just want to keep it simple if you I'll show you in a second as I said earlier uh, my engine bay is pretty straight forward and clean and, and, and bland. There's no pops of color or crazy things. Um, it's pretty much just black and white with the red uh, plenum on the, on the, uh, on the motor. Um, so, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to keep it simple. Adding the carbon fiber is just kind of my like, whoa, like my kind of going crazy kind of thing. Um, so, you know, don't expect me to do anything too nuts. So 
Let's get the stock ones off the car. I'll show you exactly how to do that. Again, it's very simple, but let me show you just so you guys are informed and understand what you need to do. All right, so these are the stock covers that you get on all, any WRX or STI. They're all the same. They're all really cheap and, and crappy feeling. I'll, I'll kind of hold it up to the camera close so you can get a better idea of kind of what it feel. Well, you can't really feel it, but what it sounds like and just un, you know get an understanding of how cheap it is. Um, but it's literally this clip right here. And you kind of see there's one right there as well that you just literally take a flathead or a clip popper or whatever you have um, and just pop them out. So I'm going to do that real quick. And that's literally all you need to remove to get it out. Um, these, now let me say real quick, I already did that side, which I mentioned. Um, it does take some strange kind of movement and, and manipulation to get the carbon fiber ones into place. These ones have a lot more play um, and you can bend them, mainly because uh, you're probably not gonna use these again, so you kind of just rip them out. <laughs> uh, but with the actual carbon fiber ones, um, they are, uh, they don't they don't flex as much. So you do have to kind of maneuver it in a certain way to get them into place. Um, that side especially, I was going to take it out just for the context of the video um, and just you know have them both out on the, on the uh, tool bench, but I was like, you know what? I, I just, I couldn't maneuver in a way where I couldn't get it out uh, without scratching it like crazy. Um, so if I ever do sell those, I, I don't know if I'm gonna ever be able to take them out. So I guess, you know, take, you know, think about that. Um, but uh, I just wanted to leave it in there mainly because I didn't want to scratch it. Um, and and I kind of just show you one side because it's literally the same thing on either side. And this one was a little bit easier to to put on and take off and everything. So that's the reason why I'm mainly doing this side. But so here you go, you literally just, Pop them out, slip out. I have a cob intake, obviously. You, most of the people will have a stock intake, but it's it's very similar fashion. Um, you kind of just pull it out from there and get it out from the corner here and just slide it out. So as you can see, it kind of goes back pretty far into the fender. So this is where it gets tricky on the carbon fiber one because you got to slip it in and it, I'll show you in a second. So a little bit closer look, I mentioned that the fender covers, they actually do a little bit of cooling. Um, you know, I, it's kind of, who knows if it actually does it. There's no, I mean, there's a vent on the side over here, but I don't think it's real. Uh, I don't think it does anything. Um, so, but I mean, it would be ideal if uh, it did vent out from here, because it would, you know, any hot air uh, could just filter through those screens and kind of just go out that vent. Um, whether it does that or not, I'm not really sure. But either way, you can see the whole entire, um, fender and the, and the wheel well kind of down there. Uh, so basically what it's saying it does is it allows um, any hot air or, or anything like that to go through those vents and kind of go down into that area. So there is a pretty big um, pretty big hole down there. There is definitely space for um, air to, to um, kind of extract from there, but who knows if it actually works. Uh, I mean, for me, obviously I'm doing this only for looks. I don't, it's not really um, a performance mod. So uh, I figured I'd just show you just so you can see what they're actually talking about when they say it actually helps with the cooling of the car. All right, so now that we have everything ready to go, we have the grates in, um, I have everything uh, protected and ready to go, um, you know, we can get to installing these. Again, I said these don't flex as much, so it's a little bit harder to get into position, but I'll show you exactly what you need to do to get them uh, in properly. Uh, hopefully you don't scratch them too much, uh, but the good part is any part that does contact areas where it could scratch, uh, is hidden so you so you don't see them but i've already had these installed and uh, i literally just took them out for this video um and it, they are perfect there's, there's no scratches here the other side uh, i there's no scratches but they would scratch if i were to take them out so that's again that's the reason why i left them in there so enough talking let's put them on the car um and i'll kind of show you what you need to do uh, the best way to do that is to take this corner up here and slide it into the fender first um, you kind of have to angle it up and then you kind of pop it down. Um, so you kind of just, you watch where this is going um, and where it needs to be. It's good to watch on the stock ones where they come out from so you have a better idea um, where it's going. Let's see what I mean. It's, it's easily, you can, uh, you know, get it scratched if you're not careful. But as you see, it kind of just popped right in and then you simply just lift it up into position. And I just got to tuck mine under the cob intake. And then I'm going to take my stock pins and just pop them right in. So there you go. 
as I said, it's a very simple install, uh, but it's, it's, you know, it just takes some maneuvering and you just gotta be kind of careful as you position it into place. Let me show you on this side real quick. Um, on, on over here, it's a little bit different. There's a little bit more, um, a little bit more things to kind of work around. Um, so that, that one's a little bit more difficult, but it's the same concept, uh, you know, sticking the back end into the, into the actual fender well uh, or fender area and kind of just pop it into place. You kind of got to roll it in and then it'll eventually go. Uh, you know, again, I tried to, I tried to kind of take it out just for the video so I can show you guys installing both sides, uh, but it just didn't work out that way. And I kind of just wanted to leave it alone. Um, and, and this, again, this is the side that was kind of flawed. Um, so as of right now, I do have them installed. And, and then I'll update you guys on, on what Subi Speed and I kind of uh, resolve and, and what we decide on and what we're going to do. But for now, um, I'm really happy with how it looks. I think it looks really, really good. Um, you know, it's such a it's such a small detail. I say that in all my videos, but I, that's just kind of what I'm about. Um, I really do enjoy all the small little things, you know, things that other people wouldn't notice otherwise, but they, I notice them, um, you know, when I, when I, you know, anytime I wash the car and I come in here to wipe it down and clean it and everything, and I see that, um, that's gonna make me super happy. I mean, it looks cool in photos and everything like that, and it just adds that little touch um, that I guess not many people will do because they are pretty expensive. If it is something that you are interested in doing and that's why you're watching this video, uh, I highly recommend them. I think it looks really, really cool. It would definitely add some cool, uh, if you have more carbon fiber in the car, I totally understand why you would do that. You know, like when I first put these in the other day, I was like, oh, you know, this is bad news. I want to do more, but I kind of rationalized. I was like, you know what? It might pr probably is not the smartest thing to do, at least for me. Uh, I daily drive this car um, and I don't want to go too crazy with it because uh, it's purely for aesthetic. There's no there's no gain in it. There's no performance aspect of it. It's just simply just to look cool. Um, I, did know, I did think that uh, Cobb should offer a carbon fiber cover plate uh, separately that you can buy. I think that'd be really, really cool. Um, just to kind of tie things in, I would I would do that if they'd offered it, um, or maybe I can have somebody uh, wrap it in carbon fiber for me. Who knows? I know people do that. Um, and only other thing that I kind of want to do is the snorkel here. Uh, I know some companies actually make uh, a cover that goes over top of this in carbon fiber, um, but the thing about carbon for me is a lot of different companies that do sell things. They sell it in different weave patterns. It's going in different directions. Um, and I don't want that. If I were to get something for this and that, I would want it exactly the same weave, exactly the same, you know, angle and everything. I would want it to line up perfectly because if you get, I cannot stand when people get carbon fiber and they put two different pieces up to one another and the lines and the weaves don't line up, that bothers the living crap out of me. And I don't, I don't want to do that to my car um, because it would bother me. And that's just me. I understand uh, it may not bother others, um, but that's just me because I'm, I'm a little nuts. Uh, but I think that would be really cool to add that. And if it is ever an option, maybe I'll do it. But for now, uh, like I said, I don't really plan on adding too much or any other carbon fiber for that matter at all. Next up for the engine bay, I've been talking about this for a while, but I'm waiting to get to get them in. Uh, all these yellow caps that you see here will be gone. Um, I, I got I got a great set, a great cap set coming in that's gonna look really cool. Uh, it's a pretty cool color too. I had to go to the powder coater um, because it's a special order color. It's not something they off offer uh, as a factory or a stock option. Um, so it, it is taking a little bit longer, but you know, so be it, I'm fine with that. As long as what I get is exactly what I want, which I'm very confident it will be because uh, this company is really, really cool. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That's it for this video. Um, if you guys have any questions about it uh, or why I spent this money on it, <laughs> Go ahead and ask me. I'm fine with that. Um, if you want to make fun of me for spending that on these, go ahead. It doesn't matter. It's my car. I'm enjoying doing this. Um, so if you guys have any questions about them, be sure to ask them below. I will link these uh, in the description. So if you are interested in getting them, all you got to do is click a link. I did get them from Subi Speed, as I mentioned. Um, you can get them from a few other places as well. Um, I know a few other companies make these too, but these are just the ones I chose um, and, I'm, and I'm happy with them. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't, be sure to like that video, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.